constitute a DOSCON raid because based on your current guidelines, closures of workplaces and schools would come under DOSCON raid. So what is your current definition of DOSCON raid then in this unprecedented situation? And how far or how near are you to a lockdown? Because many Singaporeans would effectively see this as a, as a lockdown. Uh, we look at the degree of community spread in the country and we also look uh, at our ability to control that spread within the community itself. Uh, so at this time, while there is an increased amount of community spread as opposed to one month ago, uh, it is still a belief that this is a situation that we can potentially control and therefore we are not uh, making any plans at this stage to move into DOSCON red. If we were to consider DOSCON red, it would be in a situation where because of our inability or failure to ring fence, isolate, contain and prevent further community spread, then the thrust of our strategy changes towards uh, some level of mitigation uh, to, in order to make sure that our health system and its resources uh, are sustainable uh, to, in the long haul. Uh, and we are clearly not at that stage just yet. Uh, we will look at a variety of different uh, parameters as we determine what that risk of community spread is. We look at the number of cases as they come on. We study the type of cases, whether or not they are potentially linked to existing clusters or whether they are unlinked. And as further investigations carry out, we look at our success at being able then to establish these links uh, to these clusters. We look at our ability to prevent further spread even within the cluster uh, to ensure therefore that there are no further transmission that occurs after we've made an attempt to ring fence and isolate. So these are some of the measures that we would uh, put in place, some of the factors we look at to assess uh, whether or not our containment strategies are successful and they would also influence us as we assess whether there is a need in the future to move to Doscon Red. In fact, even when we introduced the last round of measures last week, people were already asking us, in fact, I think some members of the media had asked, was that a lockdown? So rather than you know, think about, use the phrase lockdown, and it, which means different things to different people, let's focus on the specific measures. And what we are doing today is a significant tightening on top of what we had just introduced last week because we think this is necessary. But with these measures, we are not stopping all work. We are not shutting down the economy, right? Essential businesses will continue. We are not stopping people from going out if they really need to for work where it's essential or to get their food, groceries, or even to exercise amongst their own family members. Uh, so there are clear guidance, rules that we have laid out but it is certainly a very stringent set of measures that will impose more restrictions on people's movements. And so once again, we call on everyone to cooperate, to work with us, and to show in this time of crisis that Singaporeans can be resilient, can be united, and we all can be disciplined in doing what is necessary to protect ourselves and save lives. Um, that's one question I realized I didn't answer on the earlier question on IT infrastructure, whether there would be a constraint. Uh, we, we did consider that, so we have consulted our colleagues at MCI, uh, and they have assured us that we do have the, uh, in physical, the IT infrastructure to cope with the increase in usage. And that's because we have invested over the years in significant infrastructure, including in fiber, uh, broadband fiber into people's homes.